Morning everyone, I hope you're well, I hope you had a good weekend. Um, it's Monday today and I thought I would just do a little day in the life or daily vlog, see how that goes. Um, we're literally just about to leave for school run, um, back to school now. Um, he's been, he went Wednesday, Thursday, Friday last week, so yeah, back into the swing of things actually quite well which is <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to get there you know you kind of feel like you're always going to be running late but yeah I managed to um well I was up at seven this morning and yeah it's pretty it's going quite smoothly I've emptied dishwasher I've made beds I've just done the usual stuff that I usually do in the morning and nothing sort of got in the way so the kids are literally both ready to go they've had they've brushed teeth they've wash face and they just need to put their shoes on and then we can head outside. It's supposed to be a really nice day today. It's supposed to be a really good week actually. It's around like 21, 22 degrees, um, but kind of like cloudy, muggy. I've got a jumper on now, but I'm sure I'll take it off later. So yeah, me and Violet are off to do Alistair school run. Um, she's just chilling with me today. I think we're gonna head to Castle Point because I need to um, just pop into Castle Point and then we're gonna head swimming because we haven't been swimming in ages. And she's dying to go, so. Yeah, I thought I'd just take you along with me. Um, it's nearly 10 past eight now. Just need to round the kiddies up. Monday blues, already? Come on, socks on please. Jacket on, shoes on, time to go. Come on. Yes. Uncle. Start of the weekly drama of, I don't wanna go to school. But attitude what? over the weekend as what? well. Let's see, turkeys quick. Come with them. Wee! Am I? Yeah. Well, you should really wear a jumper, Vi. She didn't want a jumper on. Hello! I'm going to peck you. <laughs> They're getting noisier and noisier, these things. Hello! You? Hello. Hello. Getting more and more intrigued. So we've just jumped off the boy and we've got to Castle Point. It's like nine minutes past nine. We kind of got stuck in a little tiny smidgen of traffic, which was a bit annoying. Um, but I suppose it's that time of morning and it's a Monday. Um, Violet's actually just crashed. I actually need to get her a new swimming costume. So that's one thing we need to do. I've been trying to look for some um, boyfriend fit sort of jeans. And I actually picked some up from H&M and I've got them with me. But then I realised that I had my Gap voucher. So um, if, I, if I don't find any in Gap, then I'll just keep the ones from H&M. If I find some better ones in Gap, then I'll take the H&M ones back. Penguin. That's my plan. Penguin. Christmas Penguin, you awake? Should we go into the shop and then we're going to go swimming? Penguin. Where is he? There. There. <laughs> Dirty. He's filthy, yes. He needs washing. He needs washing. Okay, I'll show you what I've picked up. I've got this dress, which, I don't know, it looks kind of big, but I like the material. Bye. Where are you going? Bye. What are you doing? Come here. I just want to stand there. Um, I've got two of these um, tops that are kind of low back, which look quite nice. A pair of, like, always skinny um, cords in the blue. And then these are the boyfriend fit um, cords. They haven't got any nice jeans, so I'm probably going to keep the ones from H&M. So let's we'll see what these ones are like. I haven't tried them on yet. What do you think? It's quite boxy. It's like this, I don't know why, I don't, maybe it's supposed to be like that. It's kind of got pockets. It feels really comfortable. I like the pattern. I like the material. It's kind of a wintry, thicker material. With tights, maybe. <laughs> Who's at my door? He's at my door. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? It's got like a... I don't know if you can see it. It's got like a zip back. Riley? Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. It's just so... We've just done some serious spending in Next. And a little bit in Gap as well. Moving. We're moving. Bye. <laughs> Back in the car, it's quarter to 11. Time's like flying by. Um, complete like no go with the swimming costume. I can't find one anywhere. And um, even Asda said that they um, have taken the stock out now and they, they don't know when they're gonna get them back in. But it just seems ridiculous because yeah, okay, the summer's kind of ending and not everybody's going to the beach, but people still go swimming. It's not like, <laughs> 
you know, you, you necessarily have to wear a swimming costume at the beach. So, yeah, there's no swimming costumes. It's all winter clothes and, yeah, it's just a bit ridiculous. So, the only thing we can do is go home and get her old Peppa Pig one. Fingers crossed it fits her. Then I can pick up her armbands as well. The only annoying thing is, though, it's getting to, like, towards lunchtime. So, I'm going to have to drive there, drive back, and it's just, it, by the time we get back, it's probably going to be about half eleven. Um, with all the faff and everything so we'll just see just see how she feels she's a bit tired and she keeps saying she's hungry so I might have to pick up a couple of snacks um, but yeah um, done quite well on the gap I'll, I'll show you the stuff that I got because it's not really like haul worthy you know I haven't got that much stuff I've got a couple of bits but I didn't find a pair of boyfriend fit jeans but a pair of boyfriend fit cords that I like so yeah, I'll show you what I've got. And I've got a couple of bits for Vi in Next as well. They've got some really nice sort of autumn winter stuff out at the moment. Um, I just got her a couple of pieces that I really liked. That were like sort of a yellowy sort of colour. So anyway, we're going to head on back. And hopefully, um, we'll be able to go swimming. I was really looking forward to swimming. Violet, well, you want to go swimming as well, don't you? Yeah, with Mummy. Yeah, okay. So we'll go get your swimming costume, shall we? Yeah, yeah your little Peppa Pig one. Squeeze your bum into it. Yeah. <laughs> Squeeze your bum into it. <laughs> okay, we are back in the car and um, it's quarter past 11. I've got the swim stuff. I've actually got our woggle as well, so we can have a good swim with that. But um, yeah, Violet's just having a quick snack. I've got her yogurt and she just had a tea string. Okay. And oh, I can't believe, I should have just bought her swimming costume. I feel so stupid for forgetting it. Um, not necessarily forgetting it, but, you know, thinking that I could buy her a new one. Um, but anyway, so we're heading down to swimming now. We're not going to go all the way back to Bournemouth. We're going to go to our local swimming pool, which isn't as good, and it's not as warm. It's actually a little bit chilly. Um, but it's a really warm day, to actually, today. It's 22 degrees today, so it should be fine. You know, she's dying to go swimming. If she wasn't, if she, you know, was that bothered, she would she not want to go but she is really bothered she really wants to go so and then we'll probably get lunch after i really need to do some food shopping i haven't done an avocado delivery this week because i don't really need much i've got like like meat and everything i just need a few, a few veggies i've still got quite a bit of fruit from last week um so depending on how she is we could do swimming lunch and then quickly pop into waitrose and then pick up the boy from school. That could be the rest of the day. Um, it just depends really how tired she is because even on the way back here, she kind of had a little doze, dozed off for like a slight second. Um, yeah, so we'll see anyway, see what happens. But right now we are headed to swimming. Hooray, finally. Bye, what have you got? Um, what is it? It's woggle. Woggle, woggle. Yeah, come on then, where are we going? I'm going swimming. Yeah, are you excited? Yeah. Okay. You ready for swimming? Yes. Yes, are you excited? Yeah. Yay. Are you climbing the tree? Bye. Are you climbing the tree? Yeah. Say cheese. <laughs> we finished swimming, haven't we, Vi? Was it good? Yeah. You're going to tell Daddy all about it? Yeah, I'm coming in the baba. Okay. I'm coming. Yeah. Are you going to do some more crunching? Crunch, crunch, yeah. crunch, crunch. Yeah, yeah, crunch over there. Crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch. crunch, crunch. crunch. What are we going to have for lunch, Vi? Um, um, ham sandwich. Ham sandwich? Yeah. Is that your favourite? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're back in the car. It's quarter to one. We had a really good swim. We had about 40 minutes um, and then it was starting to get a little bit chilly. It's actually warmer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be quite a cold pool, but I think they might have turned up the heat because it's getting cooler. So anyway, we had a good swim, didn't we, Vi? Yeah. Really fun. And um, there was a couple of other kiddies in there that she played with, which was really nice. Um, we're going to quickly, she wants a ham sandwich, we don't have any ham in, so we're going to go Waitrose. I, need, I literally need just a couple of things like stir fry, noodles, um, tarragon, I just need literally a couple of items for meal plan for this week. So I'm going to quickly do that and then we're going to go home and have kind of late lunch, um, but it's fine, no problem. Um, I actually feel okay, I don't feel too hungry. Um, yeah, so we're going to pop to Waitrose now. It's quarter to one. 
Should we get some cucumber? Bye. Cucumber? Yeah, half? We need I'm some stir fry it. and some noodles. Oh, look. Produce. Bless her, she's asleep. I'm just making myself a coffee quick, a really fancy one. I'm so hungry. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let her have a little mini power nap. I'm going to film the shopping, put it away, and then make her a ham sandwich, then wake her up. And then I think she'll be happy about that because she keeps going on about ham sandwich. So I'm going to do that and I'm starving now. I'm absolutely starving. It's like 20 to 2. So we're going to have to get the boys soon in like an hour. <sighs> Hungry. So yeah, I'm going to have coffee as well. And I actually only spent £36, which I thought was really good. Um, you know, I got two big bags full, it's not too much. I really didn't need much anyway. I'm just going to sit down with my lunch. I did try and wake Violet up, but she's really tired. So I think swimming must have worn her out. So I'm just going to leave her there for, a, you know, till I have my lunch. I've got um, pate on toast, which I really fancy that. I fancy caramel latte, I've got nectarine, and one of the gluten free peanut biscuit thingies. I'm just going to read my Waitrose free mag that I got, see what's interesting. Okay, we are back from the school run. Um, it's got to be about quarter past, twenty past three now. Um, Violet literally slept the whole time. She's having her lunch now and I'm really worried about that because I don't know if she's going to eat her dinner now. But partly that's my fault anyway and it's partly because she had a nap. So, um, God, flies. Um, I, thought I, go I thought I'd show you what I got today. That's no point doing it in a haul. I might even stick Violet stuff into a, her autumn winter haul as well, but you can see it first anyway. So, yeah, I'll show you what I got. I'll show you the jeans I got on the weekend, actually. The H&M ones, which I was, like, debating about. These are... If I can get them out of the bag. These are... What are they? Boyfriend Low Waist. 32 that's the only problem I had I actually had to roll them up twice well I think it's kind of they rolled up once already and then I rolled them up again so they kind of like rolled up three times but they actually look okay they were 30 pounds and they're actually a really nice fit and I like the color of them so I think that's why I got them um they're not too distressed -y. yeah they're the ones I got from H&M I got them on the weekend and I'm definitely going to keep those now because I couldn't find any in Gap so what I got in Gap I was so pleased. Look at my total. So basically, if you buy four items, you get an extra 10% off. And I bought four items. One, two, yeah, I bought four. So total um, was just over £100. And then um, they basically put 40% off. So I had the VIP 30 and then an extra 10% off. So it went down. I basically saved myself 37 33 And total was 63 47 The jeans themselves, the cords that I got, were 45 on their own. So... Bit of a bargain, I think. Okay, so I got those two tops that I showed you. They were basically a uh, like front round neck with three quarter length cut sleeves, but they had the low back. I just thought they were really nice. Um, twelve ninety five each, but obviously I got forty percent off those. So I got the navy, of course, and the white. And they had a pink as well, but I didn't like the pink. I'm not really a pink person. But anyway, uh, these are the boyfriend fit. Um, what are they called? Sexy boyfriend. Um, fit cords and yeah they were regular so they fit me perfect in the leg they're kind of really nicely fitted around the waist and then caught a sort of like more baggy um, a bit more casual a bit more comfortable and yeah like I said these were originally 45 pounds and I got 40% off those and then I saw this and it feels like if you could like feel this it feels so amazing they had this in loads of different colors as well and I thought I'd go for something a bit more different because I could have gone for a navy or a brown or something or grey. But I thought I'd go for this really unusual sort of really pale mint um, colour. It's kind of, a, I don't know, I think it would be really nice through the winter with um, just a vest top underneath. I think it would keep you warm. It's kind of like a jumper but a top, if you know what I mean. And that was originally £30. So I basically, of all the money I spent, I pretty much got this free with an extra £7 something off. So, 40% off that as well. So, that's what I got from Gap. Sort of a winter stuff for myself. 
Okay, so in next, I couldn't help myself. When as soon as I saw this cute dress, I just thought it was adorable. I thought it would suit Violet to a T because her, she just suits yellow so much and I just love yellow. So um, yes, I got this in the age three to four because I didn't actually think it was that big when she stood up, once I held it to her. So I got this gorgeous dress. It's two piece set with these um, footless tights. Look how gorgeous. Like, can you just imagine her with like some, um, I've got her some suede, um, not suede are they suede they're kind of the ugg boots but for kids um coming in the end of this month um could you imagine over those i just think it'd be adorable um this was 14 pounds which i thought was amazing like really good value with a nice cardi on top and i actually got this cardigan as well because i really liked it and it does go um this only i got that in the two to three because they didn't have it in any other size it was all sold out so yeah, that was £15. It was a little bit on the pricey side really, but um, it should last. I think it's some sort of wool. I think the material is like a really nice um, wool and I think that goes really nicely. And then I'll keep you on the yellow and grey theme. I got her this really cute tunic um, with the little mouse. She actually chose this. She loved it with the little mousey and then they came with leggings as well. The little leggings have some little, what are they, little diamante buttons. Um, but yeah, so that's another little outfit. And this was really reasonable as well. This was £16, so that's like a two-piece set. You could put that, you know, with some other things like tights and stuff. And then I picked up Alistair some casual trainers. I was going to go for Converse, but um, I honestly, I couldn't find any Converse that were Velcro. I'm fed up with doing the laces because he just gets frustrated because he wants to just slip them on. Um, and I couldn't find any this year with um, any Velcro. So I thought I found these and I thought these were super cute. These are £14. He's a size 11. And how cute are those? And they're so, so soft as well. Like, you know, I, I like them to be comfortable. I just thought they were so cool. Um, so I got Alistair those anyway. So that's like my little mini haul. So yeah, I had a bit of a splurge, but I don't, honestly, I haven't really shopped for myself in ages. Um, not for essentials anyway, I kind of needed essentials. I'm just going to do a slight bit of editing while the kids are happy. I think Alistair's outside actually. Um, I really need to get my meals up for the week um, from last week and I need that up today just because it usually comes out today. So I'm going to do that really quickly. That didn't take long. It took like all of like 10 minutes or something because I didn't actually have much to um, upload. I've been quite bad with meals this week. I've just been having lunch out or just having, when I'm back to like working on Thursday and Friday, I'm kind of ne not necessarily massively hungry back on a Friday or I get something out or I don't know. Anyway, the kids are entertained, they're having a snack. Um, Graham's not actually going to be moving the piggies. I don't think he's moved them yet, but yesterday they were actually out. They got out of their pen. I think they're getting bored because they keep kind of digging underneath and he's going to give them, move them over so they've got more grass and they've got a bit more, you know, different things to look at. I think they're getting bored. Actually doing um, for dinner, God, I can't believe it's near dinner time and I just feel really full because we had late lunch. I think I might have to hold it out until maybe start dinner at like half four or something and have it for half five. Um, yeah, we're having toad in the hole, which is really easy. We, I'm using like our little pork chipolata sausages, which um, the lady that works for us, she made she makes a chipolata one especially for the kids, which is really nice. But we're going to use those anyway for toad in the hole with some veg and some gravy. Really fancy that. It's been really warm today though. I'm kind of bringing out the stews and the slow cooker stuff, but it's actually warming up, um, which is just weird. It feels weird because one minute it's freezing and the next minute it's boiling. Um, it's, it's, it's... Is it toxic? Sl slime. Slime. Is it actually in there? Yeah. <gasps> Should we have a look? It's really smelly. Oh, God, that is really smelly. Oh, where did it you find it? It means close the lid. Oh, yeah, I'll leave it up there. That's a good idea. Uh, uh, Mummy. Yes, bye. Oh. Give me hugs them. Give me hugs. It's up here. No, oh. get it. Lift me up. Lift me up. I can't lift you up. I've got things in my hands. Haven't I? What have you got in your pocket? Penny and lots. A lot. What have you got in your pocket? What have you got in your pocket? Nothing. You two in your pockets being filled with all sorts. What have you got, Fi? Let's have a look. 
got a penny. <gasps> You've got shells and stones. Did you yeah. get them from school? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Look, I may got a penny. You, you, you've got a pound. Yeah, from Anna. You've got a pound. Yeah, kind of stone. And a stone. Yeah. Aren't you lucky? You're going to put them back, keep them safe, box. or you're going to put them in your money box? You put them in your money box. Yeah, we know you've got lots of money, money bags. No, what? I just want to show you. Money, money, money. <gasps> Try and lift it up. Oh, treasure. Try and lift it up. Let me see. It's really heavy. Let me see. It's oh, my goodness. Let me see the treasure. See the treasure? Yeah. Playing nicely, which is good. I've just done like a whole load of editing. I shouldn't really do it when the kids get home from school. But you know when you just think, they're so happy and occupied and playing really beautifully. And I just think. Mommy, then at least I can actually spend some time with Graham after um, when he finishes work. Hang on, Missy! The pool is slightly looking better. It was green before. It's looking better, isn't it, Alistair? It's still really... Um, don't touch it. No, we're not allowed to touch it yet because it's still got a lot of high chemicals in it. Well, chlorine. It's basically just chlorine, but it's cleaning it. It's still really foggy, you can see. Just going to go see the piggies quick, see how they're doing. Graham hasn't moved them yet. Jack's already out here. Jack's out here already. Hey, Jack. Where's the pig pigs then? Are they in bed? Let's quickly see if they're in bed. Oh, he's actually made it bigger like that. I didn't realise. Apple. Oh, you stinky little boy. Don't lick your fingers. No. Hello. Oh, watch out for the stingies, Alistair. Huh? So he's um, made it bigger like that. That's really nice. At least they can chill in the shade. He's a big Hello. Hello. He Hello. Like, this one likes You're me. gorgeous. This one's like Are you gorgeous? Actually, like Look at it. those two. Look at them. That one's going to bite me in the face. They are the so cute. Like... Just chilling out in the shade. Aww. Look at them. Look at them. Fighting with the bucket. Oh, they're playing. Oh yeah, they're snatching off it. Playing that game. Snatching <laughs> off the rubbish. Mummy, Pinky's tired. Yeah, watch your fingers. <laughs> they think it's food, Alistair. Hi, Jack. You right? Hi, Jack. You mean grazing? Lots of grass to eat out here, isn't there? He is following me. He thinks I've got some milk, but I haven't got any milk, Jack. I'm sorry. Alistair, what are we having built over there? A house. What sort of house? A wood house. Like windy wood house. Cool. Yeah, Graham's got to put up that windy house over there. It's um, it's kind of like a project. I was saying ages ago about a project that we've got to do. Yes. Yeah, I'll have a look in a minute. Um, yeah, about a project that we're doing, and it's basically we've got to yeah, we've basically got to um, record and take pictures and process of the house being built. It's like a wooden sort of Wendy house, and I know I can hear horses too. And we have a budget of fifty pounds um, of our own money, obviously, to do it up. So yeah, Graham actually did that on the weekend because it needs a proper base, so it's like concrete. And look, he put that. Alistair Witt, Violet Witt, and that's when he actually put the base in. So cute. So we're going to have a little windy house there, which is going to look really cute. And we're going to do it up and, um, yeah, paint it. I'm not sure what sort of theme I'm going to go for. I don't know whether to go for. I'm still sort of thinking about it, to be honest. Um, hopefully the weather doesn't change, though. That'd be bad. So, yeah, I've got lots of sand. Lots of sand here. Which is quite fun, isn't it? It's an ant home, is it? Yeah, it's red ant in there. Where? Red ant. Red ants? Yeah. Where? I just saw one went there and went inside. Oh, that's not nice. Yeah. <gasps> We've actually got a trampoline ladder that I bought especially, like, months and months it's ago. And Graham still hasn't even put it together and put it on, so we're still using this. <laughs> Silly daddy. Silly daddy. Silly daddy. Silly daddy. <laughs> you do some boinging. Yeah, I'm just going to be higher. Okay. Well, hey. Will you take your shoes off? Look, here's your welly boots. Silly sausage. Mommy, don't need them. Okay. Can I take my shoes off? Yeah, take your shoes off. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. 
Oh. Yeah, it's it's uh, the wind keeps blowing it all over the place. Hey! Woohoo! That was really, really high, wasn't it? Do you want to climb on the ladder, Jack? Do you want to have a Boeing too? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you'd like it with these spindly legs. <laughs> Eat your boot. Jack is nice. No. Jack is nice. Go on then. Brothers go. Whoa! Really high. Oh! I'm going to come in and start dinner. Um, like I said, we're having toad in the hole, so really easy. I just need to get the sausages in the oven and get them sort of cooked. Okay, I think they look pretty good. So they are ready for the oven. I just literally, I've actually got a how-to on toad in the hole. It's so easy. You literally cook these in some oil first and make sure it's like piping hot. They're pretty much browned off. Look at those beauties Graham just brought home for me to do my um, batter. Nice. So I'm just doing my um, toad in the hole sort of, um, what is it called? Yorkshire pudding batter, that's what I'm doing. There we go, two best friends. <laughs> he loves him. He's going to check on the pigs, even though. Graham's new cricket boots, tap dancing boots. Yeah, I'm going to do two I just shout them. Cool. They're pretty cool, aren't they? They look so different from actually on the website. I thought they were darker blue. They're quite smart. Hopefully they fit. I treated him because I'm nice like that. Aren't I? Look, 20 quid from 80. Bargain. Do they fit you? Yep. Sure? Yep. Let me surprise what Violet's playing with. What are you doing? That tiny worm. Tiny worm? Yeah. Look at him here. He's playing with worms. Look how pretty you look. And then you're playing with worms. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Do you yeah. like worms? Yes. Worms smell, aren't they? Yeah. Stay in the box. Really? Oh, yuck. Gross. Gross. You probably worms has done the poo, man. That was dead. <laughs> that was dead. She's such a pretty little thing, and then she plays with. Bugs and worms and yeah. Lovely. It's nearly dinner time. This one's dead. I think it's done. Look at that. Mmm. So good. Vegetables nearly done as well. Alice is in the bath. I it's just about to get in. I find doing them separate a lot better. Otherwise they just argue so much in the bath and fight over the bubbles and everything. So Graham's doing bath. Alice is super tired. He's getting really, really um, mouthy <laughs> and screeching quite a bit. Anyway, I'm, I'm trying to get these stains out of Violet's jeans that she's been wearing. Um, yeah, she's obviously had a good day. So I've just wet it and I'm gonna use the Vanish Gold. This stuff's really, really good actually. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. Tackle the stains while um, you know, they're kind of fresh and new. Hiya, what are you doing? Bubbles. Play with the bubbles. Bubble present. Bubble, bubble, bubble. This stuff is amazing for bubbles. Been well impressed by it. You need like the tiniest amount, it makes them loads. <laughs> Let's have a look at your curly hair, turn around. <laughs> Woo hey, look at those. Golden locks, beautiful. <laughs> Boing, boing, boing.